Mike. Hi. Uh, I noticed no Rich today. Do you know where he went to? Oh, he's dead. This looks like an amazing Plinketto board. I am super excited for all of this. So many great films today. Uh, let's, let's go through the films on the Plinketto board today. The first film is called A Gnome Named Norm. Oh, okay. Uh, Anthony Michael Hall and a little gnome from outer space. Nice. Also known by its French version. Oh, yeah. Space Cop. What's next? Next on the board, back again, Twin Dragon Encounter, starring twin martial arts masters. That's right. Are they really twins, or? I believe I believe. Michael and Martin McNamara. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And you found this at a thrift store in Bangkok, right? I, uh, it, was a, it was a secondhand store in Canada. Okay, that's pretty close. After that, a, a, a mainstay on the Plinketto board, which apparently can't be removed. It's Deathstalker 2. We have to see the whole series. I haven't seen the first one. I don't know why 2 is here. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, okay, I got it now. I'll, I'll, I'll do a quick recap if we land on it. Okay. Everyone gets raped. So, it's a film about Hollywood? Nah. What's next? Next is Metal Beast DNA Overload. Oh, I'm sorry. Project Metal Beast DNA Overload. With DNA Overload, isn't that the Louis C.K. story? hey -oh! oh yeah, what's Metal Beast DNA Overload about? We Probably a monster, right? Pro probably. So a film about Harvey Weinstein. Hey oh The hits keep on coming! Take that, Hollywood elite! Our next film is called Nail Gun Massacre. Uh, all of these, uh, the, I, I want so many people dead with nails in their eyeballs or yeah. other holes in their body. Yeah, I mean, there hasn't been a really good horror film about someone killing people with a nail gun. Mm -hmm. And this is it, probably. Next, we got Amazons, we got sexy ladies, we got lightsabers in Princess Warrior. The next film is called Vibrations, starring Michael J. Fox. Cause no, because he's in the film. Oh, is he's he? listed on the box. Just, I don't, I don't see that. Oh wait, sorry. It says James Marshall. Okay. I don't have my glasses on. I wasn't making a joke about oh, a deadly no. disease. No. Do you think I'm some no. kind of fucking asshole? Up next is Crypt Z, <laughs> or what is probably Crips. It's probably Crips with with a little hip hop flair to it. Crips, uh, terror under the hood. Not the car. Yeah, I was gonna say. The neighbor. And the, yeah, the neighborhood. I was gonna say that sounds like an automotive problem. Our next film is called Slithis. Slithis. Uh, and I'm, I'm particularly excited about this one. Uh, the font is very 80s. It mm -hmm. looks like Masters of the Universe. Um, and, or like, like a Hasbro toy or something from the 80s. And then the, there's a monster on there. Kind of looks like Zat. Uh, kind of looks like Creature from the Black Lagoon. Uh, it looks like Zat's been juicing. It looks like a jacked like. Zat. Yeah. And um, uh, uh, what does it say? Hell hath no fury like Slithis. Just a catchy is he, title. Is he a female? Oh, Slithis. Hell hath no fury like a Slithis scorned. What's our last film? is Bio Kids 5 Super Heroes. They're little kid Power Rangers and it looks like they fight or befriend a clown. Look at it up close. Is it a secret Asian man? I think it's a film from China. 
or maybe Japan. Yes, it looks to that looks to be the case. Um, I'm very excited about this as a big fan of Power Rangers. Uh, I'm excited to see the expanded universe. Well, I'm very excited to see what tape we land on in this first Plinketto drop. Go ahead, Mike. All right, here we go, everybody. I'm going to walk around to the back of the device now. Yep. Here we go. First film of the day. Go. Oh, 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 what, what the fuck? What is it? It is Nick. Gun Massacre! <laughs> 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 I nailed it. Right. It's cheaper than a chainsaw on the Nail Gun Massacre, a VHS tape that once belonged to Cheryl. She marked it with her name. Well, you gotta so make Nobody sure. stole her tape. The, 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 uh, the dorm, the college dorm she stayed in, they had several copies of Nail Gun Massacre. Yes, right. But that was Cheryl's. This was Cheryl's. Yeah. Um, and then there's a pun here, a very penetrating story. So uh, this may have some comedic edge to it, hopefully. Forget about that guy with the chainsaw. He's out of here. And start worrying about the deranged nail gun killer. A beautiful young girl is brutally gang raped, oh my God, fuck's sake, uh, by construction workers at a building site in a small Texas town. It was like a Mad Lib. <laughs> Suddenly, mutilated bodies begin turning up, nailed up, nailed to trees, nailed to pavement, nailed to each other. Now it sounds like Dr. Seuss. <laughs> the nail gun maniac is deadly and no one knows who he'll hammer down next. Hammer nails, that kind of... It should have been who he'll nail next. Well, there's, there, there's a lot of nails, he got varied up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it's a piercing, no holes barred Shut trip up into industrial strength horror. Several puns going on there. All you can hope for in this kind of premise-driven slasher flick is interesting deaths. Yeah. Well, let's go find out. It's time to watch the Nail Gun Massacre. Great. Bum, bum, bum. Look at their scaff tape over the... <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go take a leak. Why would they do that? Reflection, maybe? Oh. Reflection. But they had to keep a little bit so she, that she could see. see. Yeah. Oh my no! god! Shoot him in the dick. Well, you just pissed me off. Oh! oh. How do you, oh. oh, this is. Oh! Lynn. He had time to put his penis back in his, in his underwear. This will stop that ah, ah, oh no. Ah, ah. Oh, there you go. Oh, right in the face. Oh, oh. Right in the face. 109. 169. Do you remember when you could sit outside and not worry about the mosquitoes and the killers? <laughs> Dollar fifty nine. <laughs> butterfly. Butterfly. Wild butterflies in these parts. Well, when I was a girl, they just came through in droves. They leave. <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> Two things people worried about in this town: mosquitoes and killers. Mosquitoes and killers. Oh, there's Is a bear. Is that a massacre in the pool? Oh no, why are you there? Oh my god! Why? Why? Why this guy? Oh, he's oh, fine! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Is he gonna start on fire? That's a good death! Yeah, I like that. Thanks, Bernie! Thanks, Bernie! Oh my god! Ah! We just saw a movie. We sure did. We absolutely did. Now we're back here to film the ball drop. Go ahead. Oh, Josh. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. That's very nice of you. I know what's up. Okay. I can get it. Okay, here we go. 
This is how this works. You drop the ball, we choose a movie. Whoa, whoa, the, whoa, wow. Oh, it's all over the place. Let's go, whoa, jeez. No! What do we get, what do we get, what do we get? Death Stalker 2! Oh, fuck! Oh. Death Stalker 2, his battle isn't over yet. Because there's a two. <laughs> oh dear. Wait, we yes. need to remember what happened in Death Stalker 1. Rape. Besides that. Whimsical rape. Okay. Puppet guy. All right, twice the action, twice the passion, twice the adventure, and yet it's only 85 minutes long. Perfect. That seems crazy. Uh, Monique Gabrielle, a sexy star of Bachelor Party, hot moves and flash dance. And John Terleski, star of Secret Admirer, and The All Nighter, and Chopping Mall. Tiny face from Chopping Mall, he is the Death Stalker. Join forces to swashbuckle their way to save civilization in this outrageous sequel to Death Stalker. Bum ba ba ba, enter Death Stalker. <laughs> Capturing the real Princess Evie, not the evil one. He must now return her to a rightful place of power. But the fabled swordsman battle has just begun. Standing in his way are cutthroat pirates, bloodthirsty Amazons, flesh-eating zombies, and then things start to get dangerous. <laughs> Finally, they confront the sinister power mongers in a spectacular duel to the death. So wait, this movie involves another swordsman's battle. Yeah. I, I, I can't say I'm shocked by that. Get, get a new premise, Deathstalker. L listen, but here's the thing. When the warlords fall, oh, yeah. Deathstalker will be king. So we don't have to watch the movie. We can just, we we're done. All right. Um, even after all that, I guess we have to watch it. So let's go do that. Great. Walking to watch the movie. So where she keeps it. Guys, guys, I'm not dead. It was just insurance fraud. Uh, fine, yeah, yeah, we're watching Death Soccer 2. Just oh, sit, oh, sit, 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 go, go, go. Look at that. Did they rape yet? Which way, oh mighty oracle? Why did they call you the Prince of Thieves? Because it seals shit. Which way? The West Road. Are you sure? Absolutely. The Crystal Ball never. <laughs> She's so bad. Oh, yeah. So is he. Look at him. <laughs> he, he looks like he's having fun, though. She looks like yeah. she's trying. He's yeah, just but, goofing off. Yeah. Yes. But that's, that's his problem. He's goofing off. I, no, that's uh, <laughs> to the benefit of our viewing. Yeah, you want a, you want yeah. a good serious Death Stalker in this plot? Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. No, yes, I do. No, you don't. If this were the guy from the first movie, oh, it would God. really bring us down. <laughs> yeah, that's how they say it, all right. <laughs> one against 100. Make that two against 100. Kill them. <laughs> well, that, no, that was ever, that was ever no. That was fine. Yeah, but that was I, at this point, though, it's laughable anytime. Uh, yeah. yeah. Very interesting. Is there another way in? Of course. That was the weirdest hee haw joke I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Jack, it's occurred to me that you have never dropped the ball on the Plinketto board. Mm -hmm. And so, here you go, drop the ball. Yeah, like this is gonna... This I'm isn't gonna, the bait and switch. I'm gonna, we already did that, kind of. Drop the ball and this is gonna happen? Yes, you're gonna drop the ball and we're gonna watch what movie it lands on. No, no jokes. Okay, um... So I can just put it anywhere. Just, just drop the ball. That's how this works. <laughs> Princess Warrior? What? God damn it, Jack! That's like the worst one on the board! You Are you serious? You're supposed to land on something else. Oh, Not Jesus that. Christ! Don't dropped, you know how this works? I just dropped the ball. Fucking shit, man! <laughs> Fucking Jack, goddammit. It's a fake tape. Ugh. 
All right, Jack, why don't you read the box for Princess Warrior? I just, I just dropped the ball. Like everyone, everyone drops I, the ball. I, I know you dropped the ball. Princess Warrior, they fought for a kingdom. Is there more than one Princess Warrior? They fought for a kingdom on a planet far away. A great kingdom is ruled by a warrior queen who lies dying. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, it's like she lies, she's lying down, dying. Yes. She's not a, a queen that is lying. While dying. While dying. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the earth is flat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so the queen who's dying yeah. in different states of standing and laying down. Yes. Her last act as queen is to pass the ring of power to the oldest daughter. Not necessarily her oldest daughter, just the oldest daughter. Just who's daughter. the oldest daughter on her planet. Right? Okay. It's, it's a whole lottery system. <laughs> but, a really old lady. <laughs> I'm someone's daughter. <laughs> That's, that's why the queens keep dying while laying down, as yeah. they're all elderly ladies. Sure. But the ring is passed to the gentle, loving, younger daughter, Ovule. I'm trying to figure out how to pronounce this. O-V-U-L-E. Yeah. That's, that's a pretty on-the-nose uh, name for Princess Warrior character. <laughs> and her sister, Labius. <laughs> As the queen dies, war erupts between the two sisters. So, obviously, good sister, bad sister. Yes. Um, and rages throughout the kingdom. The good sister flees to safety to the planet Earth, where she is pursued by a trio of evil cohorts. So this is going to be the typical 80s sci-fi plot where they're in, in a faraway fantasy world for five minutes and yep. then they're just on Earth because it's cheaper. They're, they're just in the California desert. For yeah. the rest of the movie, maybe they go back at the very end. Possibly. Before Avul can gain the throne, she must battle her sister to the death. All right. The Princess Warrior! I'm super excited to watch this because it was my pick. Let's go! All these good choices. I wish Rich Evans wasn't dead. Add those three cents to the mine. Oh, this is great. Um, Look at that costume. Fuck yeah! <laughs> ah, look at that one! <laughs> look at that one with the nipples on the outside! What? <laughs> Why do we have to be naked to travel in these? It's like Who cares, man? Oh my god. But they're I almost spit out everything. In my mouth. <laughs> Just the hard, the hard cut to that. They have to be nudie, Rich. <laughs> in the travel tube. And they're gonna appear at the wet t shirt. Cut. Oh my god. This, this is. This is something geez. else. This is something else. Eczema? Eczema? Holy fuck! You. Yeah. It's your big What? Fuck. <laughs> Come on! When we started the discussion, Rich Evans was still alive. Oh, it's true, but then he, but then, he went outside. Then he exploded, yeah. He exploded. So the first movie we watched was Nailed. Oh, God, all right. Yeah, yeah I took, you took control. I don't want to talk about any of them. All right. The first movie we watched was Nail Gun Massacre. Mm hmm. Uh, a, a genre slasher film, and Josh, yeah. why don't you talk about yeah. Nail Gun Massacre? Nail Gun Massacre is, uh, it would be considered like a normal slasher movie, except that great swaths of plot have been just cut completely from the film. <laughs> yes. Uh, we were reading the back and it said, you know, uh, a woman gets gang raped, and then uh, a nail gun killer takes revenge. We didn't realize that those would be the first two scenes within 30 seconds or so. <laughs> it's just boom, boom, this is the movie. It just starts. I need to stop buying movies because I buy Ooh, them. Jump right into it. Whoa, oh. holy crap. <laughs> Wait, the movie starts? Yeah, there's, there's the, oh, Jesus, there's the, the gang rape, rape right? is happening. Oh my God. Just wow. Right into it. 
Even the filmmakers want to get it out oh, of the way. That's fair. There's not even like a company logo. No. <laughs> There's not even uh, trailers. You Nothing. put the tape in and it just fades up on Gang Ray. <laughs> Jay, it, it started before we put the tape in. <laughs> I don't know how, but it did. The gang rape has just always been here. <laughs> but then, right from there, it cuts to the, uh, the terrible Don Dollar house where there's a guy just throwing shirts around, yelling at his wife. Woman, don't you think I ain't calling you because I'm talking to you? I think you're your in here now! And then all of a sudden, here's the nail gun massacre uh, uh, perpetrator walking in, nail gunning away. Immediately. So she takes off just like running. And that's when her baby. Week. Yeah. Her baby died. While she was running, no, because she's shaking the baby no. too much. No, um. they cut to a, they cut to old lady Bailey running with the baby, and she's going pretty slow. And then they cut to feet running, and it was going <laughs> obviously ten times faster. Yeah. 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 And that's the last we see of old la old lady Bailey, but it's not the last we hear of we, old lady yeah, Bailey. Yeah. No, she's mentioned throughout the film because they can shoot in her house. Yeah, which isn't really a house. It's it's more like the the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. It's so. It's like Gross. the shack that a serial killer would take his victims to. I think it was the director's house. Well, well let's let's focus on the gang rape a little more. Oh, because oh please! No, right. not no. Uh, I mean, it's awful. But it's the central point of the movie, and it's it's set up ineptly. Yeah. The, the, that's the Completely. main problem with Nail Gun Massacre. The only guy I remember, thankfully, was the very first victim, mm. because they have a close up of the lady's face, and then the the bald guy, who is old man Bailey. Uh, he's yeah. like he's like right by our face. He's like, come on, honey pie. You know, I don't know about I remember. But you don't see anybody. You don't, you don't really get to yeah. see anybody there's, else. There's that's ten there. other guys, and they don't. It's not like they sit around in a circle. You know, in in the construction ho yeah. oh, uh, house, eating their lunch, going, you know what? We should we should rape that lady. Well, then then that lady comes by. They have some sass with her, yes, and she's yes. like, you guys. Yeah, fuck she gets. It. We get to know all the we main characters. We introduce everybody. Right? No, maybe just, maybe every character uh, has its own shtick, like yeah. old Billy fishing pole. He's always yeah. fishing. Well, you're just. Describing is uh, uh, I Spit on Your Grave, the yep. most notorious rape revenge movie, sure. where you get to know the woman uh, extensively, you get to know all the rapists extensively, mm -hmm. before the rape happens, the rape happens, well, and it's rape, horrible, the and then there's a the revenge. So the nail gun uh, perpetrator uh, kills like the first three rapists, like pretty quick, like boom, 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 all on old Lady Bailey's property, and then all of a sudden, other people start getting the nail gun treatment that were not involved in the rape at all. That's where it gets confusing. That's the unnecessary complication. Yeah, that's where I got super lost. It's just like there's a hitchhiker who's got a bad attitude, and that's where you, you get nailed to the road for that. You hitchhikers are all like stuck out on the road. <laughs> there's a lady that just wanted to buy a fucking distributor cab over at the Napa, and she gets killed, not even on screen. We don't even know why she's, we know nothing about her. We got another one. The trucker just radioed in. There's a man nailed down to the highway about five miles from here. Follow me. What's it? Hey, hey. Hey, Daffy. What about, what about her? Come on back here and get this, this deal. Uh, don't worry about her. She ain't going nowhere. Besides, Lou will be here with the ambulance to pick her up later. Is that how it works? <laughs> All you want to do is ride around that damn sweet car, you asshole. <laughs> That's my new favorite. <laughs> All the side characters are great. <laughs> yeah. uh, when we got to the, the the second couple of people that get killed by the nail gun perpetrator, uh, it's a couple of guys that go out there. Uh, they're going out to take uh, take down some wood with their chainsaw, and they leave their uh, pickup truck out on the road <laughs> oh, for yeah. a couple days. Well, it's a truck, all right. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> I better go. My work is done. <laughs> gotta, gotta go home in my civilian car because we couldn't <laughs> afford a police car. Hey, I got me a pickup truck out here on County Line Road. Looks like it's been here a couple days. Oh, oh how could you indicate that? <laughs> For some reason, he's the only he's like the only cop in the movie, and the only other person that he works with is the doctor in the town. Dr. Denham. Who he has to deputize and make him... <laughs> is uh, this your headcanon? In my, my headcanon. Later in the film, sorry to jump around. Mm. He's a homicide detective. The doctor <laughs> like does more detective work than the police officer. That's in fact, a long shot. the final confrontation is the doctor and the bad guys chasing them as if he was a police officer. Yeah. So I assume yeah. at some point he was deputized. And the doctor takes it upon himself to call another hospital 
and ask some <laughs> probing questions like... Do detective work. I, I put the information into my computer. Into my high-tech 1984 computer. Multiple victims, all with nails. Yeah. Solution, enter. Nothing happened. No, nothing happened, so I called another hospital. No, I tried that. I ran it all through the computer and still nothing. And asked them to input the information into their <laughs> computer. The first several killings, well, they all appeared to be related. Each victim was a construction worker working on the same job site. And then it dawned on them at some point that half of the victims uh, were also perpetrators of the gang rape that they apparently didn't do anything about. This yeah. is where I have so many problems. So, because so like, do you think that might be related? Uh, number one, she was gang raped. And according to her story, by a bunch of construction workers at the Mullen site. Yes. Number two, over half the victims we found dead work for Bellows Construction Company. Yes. Over Mullen half. Side. Now you can't tell me that's just coincidence. Just for the context for our audience, we should uh, ignore spoilers. Okay. Go straight to the heart of the matter because okay. that is rape victim lady yeah. who set up at the beginning. Immediately, we see nail gun murderer, and it's very clearly the stature of a woman. The the, the movements shorter. shorter, you know, you know. You, you can, can tell it's a lady. You can see an hourglass figure in the the suit. There is a bust. There are the hips. bigger hips. Yeah. yeah. And then and then when nail gun massacre talks, it's through like like a voice. It sounds like Darth Vader. Yeah, the pitch or shifter. It's like um when when Carrie Fisher is is in the in in the uh, oh, the bounty yeah. hunter costume mm -hmm. as as yeah. yeah. Yate, yate, yoto, 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 yeah, yoto. Yeah, yeah. So it just disguise her voice, and that's what, so it's, okay, that's the lady. You didn't do anything to me, like hell, think back six months ago, and I'll show you how it felt. So it's a, it's a red herring, and yeah. it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a false, false road, and it turns out she has a friend or lover. And so, so he's like, he's like, yeah, I'll see you guys at, at Old Lady Bailey's house. So and then we don't see him again until the reveal at the end of the movie. Yeah, yeah I'll see you sooner than you think. But in the middle of the movie, that's a total giveaway. Where like the, these these couple people on the bike and the and the and the lady that's like very interested in County Roads. Mm. Right. Uh, <laughs> like, Ooh, County Roads. Ooh. <laughs> They're looking for some work. Oh yeah, they, they, we don't know if there's work there, but you can go out to Old Lady Bailey's house and maybe they're looking for work. No, no, her house clearly needs work. Well, oh, clearly it needs work. <laughs> but they just take it upon themselves to say, all right, they're just gonna hire us because we want them to. And yeah. then they get there and then they just set up a sex picnic. <laughs> There and is this is that. perfectly this is logical. the first time the phrase sex picnic <laughs> has ever appeared. It's a picnic that's just an excuse to have sex. The motivation for Bubba is clearly misguided and vague. The rape victim would make more sense. Yeah. Yes. She, she's she's so enraged and angry. She just wants revenge on the whole world because of what happened to her. And she's she's salty on her own. Like when she's, when yes. Uh, the, the 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 people that live in old old woman Bailey's uh, uh, cabin want to get some lumber and shit. She's like, hey, you forgot your fucking receipt, you assholes! <laughs> I fucking hate you. Where are they getting lumber? They fix up old lady Bailey's house. They no. went through that when they were eating dinner. Why are they fixing up a house that ain't theirs? Yeah. Hey, wait! Hmm? Dipshit, you forgot the receipt for your material. Oh, thanks. Wait a minute. Why is she so mad about that? Thanks, my ass. Is that the oh, lady from the rape victim? victim? Yeah. Sorry, is it? I think so. What? Who or what was that? I don't know. When you're getting revenge for someone else and you're not directly emotionally connected to it, you're a little more methodical, I would imagine, as Bubba should have been. And not just like um, killing some hitchhiker on the road and especially not murdering two poor women that were just wandering. Like, why did he yeah, kill them? That's the most confusing one. Is Bubba, Bubba happened to be a psychopath and also wanted revenge yeah. for someone raping yeah. this lady. It's not just that he killed those women. He killed them joyfully yes. with one-liners and laughed oh, yeah. like a maniac. We haven't See, talked we haven't about the one-liners. Exactly. He's got one-liners throughout this whole fucking movie for every last person he kills. It's time to your nails. This will be a gas. This must be two for one day. No, no. Really shouldn't call the pieces. 
It, it's yeah. almost as if he wanted to be a killer just because he had all these sweet one-liners. Yeah. Until he runs out. At least this is the end of this love story. They know that this lady was gang raped. Yeah. yeah. No, no. They didn't do anything about that. They credit it as town rumor. But I feel that this is more than just town gossip. Oh, is that yeah. what it was? They say okay. something oh. like that, like it's just a town rumor, okay. a legend. But you know, so there's that there's that scene by. where they say, "Oh, we should well, all these uh, uh, half of these victims are related to this gang rape. Should we should go in uh, interview and question the rape victim." Mm -hmm. No, let's just go out to the lumber yard and talk to this little gal. It just may be that she's taking law into her own hands. And then we immediately cut to them at like a bar drinking beers, yeah, and they're like, "I yeah. we I guess we just interviewed that rape victim." <laughs> Yeah, it's she, like, where was that scene? She didn't show any sort of, uh, you know, problems with being raped. Like, w could we have seen that? Yeah. Could could that have been in the movie? Yeah, could it we, was. It was need to... baffling. Well, there's there's two things uh, that I wanted to point out. One is the amazing performance by the girl left alone during the <laughs> sex picnic. <laughs> yes. This is this is a masterful oh. long take. Some filmmakers, you know, like your Stanley Kubricks or your Paul Thomas Andersons, they like to have the long take. And it's her just losing her mind and then being comforted and then losing her mind again. Yeah. And it just goes on and on. And she is she is trying so hard. She does a really good job. It's like they told a grown up to, to act like a five year old. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you've yeah. been left alone at the mall. Yeah. Yes. And Go. This is, this is your scene. Go. She yeah. is giving 100 percent. Ted Dance, I'm waiting for you. So can't handle this. Then you said you'd be back. And you're not yet. It's not quite right. No, it's just Ricky. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Man, you said I could go to the show. Oh, but Lucy, you're the boss. <laughs> huh? Okay. Good. All right, fuck when it. When is this ending? I'm back by now. <laughs> you dead? Where are you guys? Her brain from she doesn't get up and look around. She just starts immediately crying. She's having a freak out. Glad all of this made it into the movie. I mean, that is kind of her personality, so it makes sense. She drama queen. Right, yeah. <laughs> and we know that from the previous scene. <laughs> what? Who's this? Oh, that's one of the kids from the. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, 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 come on, come on, come on. Just let you take your hands off her, man. This woman is clearly has mental problems. Jesus. You shouldn't have startled her. Nope, she died. <laughs> All you can expect from a premise heavy horror movie like this is interesting kills with the nail gun. You know, much like, much like a, a killer workout. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. You, you just want kills with workout equipment. Here, you just want fun kills with the nail gun. We don't even get no, that. It's no. just nails. And I, well, I think it's and... there's not much you can do. That's you know what? You know what? On. You you need a team of like like 25 writers you in a, a writer's, writer's room, room going, okay, <laughs> what kind of like uh, we we've come up with four yeah. on our dry erase board. <laughs> Everybody think okay. Bring in fifty-eight more writers. <laughs> there, there's like there's like, like there's like a hundred and eight people in a room, and they're all just like, yeah. well, what if? Uh, what if? Uh, no, 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 no. That would be silly. All okay. of these are impractical. How about? Wait, 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 guys! I have a great idea. Let's not make this movie. That's out of the question. It's all, it's mid-production. <laughs> Jay, that's the best idea they could have had. <laughs> <laughs> The next movie we watched, everyone, was Death Stalker 2. Death Stalker as well. Death Stalker also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll have my revenge and Death Stalker 2. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, we got a final drop. His name is Death Stalker uh, 2. T O O. T O O is what she did. That was the joke. <laughs> Jay, I know you're a big fan of the Death Stalker se uh, series. <laughs> <laughs> so if you could, please describe for us Death Stalker 2. What was the plot of Death Stalker 2? Well, we have well, we have a new Death Stalker mm -hmm. who's played by uh, Tiny Face from Chopping Mall. Yeah, good from the director Dr. of Chopping Mall, and uh, Death Stalker teams up with 
Uh, a woman who is clearly a professional actress. She's very good. Give me a break. How's an oracle supposed to make a living? She's very, very good. Yes, all and of you her lines are the best. Yes. This is bad. This is real bad. The princess is being imprisoned by Jarek. Yeah, uh, she she may be the best actress. She, did she win an Academy Award for Death Eat Soccer shit, Meryl Streep. <laughs> <laughs> did, did, Death Soccer 2 is where it's at. She's the princess of some kingdom. But but uh, her clone has taken place mm -hmm. as the princess, sure. and she's like a peasant woman Isn't now. Not the other movie. No. No. Yeah. They're 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 mildly similar, which means that you will confuse them endlessly. And bo both had lightsabers. At least I have that. <laughs> no. <laughs> they didn't know. No. Didn't. Both of their performances make this movie. Yeah. Uh, Deathstalker, because that actor could not care less. Now would I do a thing like that? Come on, let's go find that horse and get the hell out of here. And he is having fun. And her, because she is trying her hardest and failing as hard as anyone <laughs> could possibly fail. But I am a princess. Or I was. Jarek made a double of me, put her on the throne and seized the kingdom. It's amazing, it's amazing. So they team up uh, to get back to her kingdom so that they can take down the clone her mm -hmm. and the people that have put the clone version of her into power. Yeah, she's under the control of uh, John Lazar from Beyond the Valley of the Dolls. This is his happening and it freaks him out. Exactly. The yeah. evil sorcerer Jarek. Mm -hmm. But this is the, the most amazing thing about this movie is that Deathstalker has grown as a character. Mm -hmm. In the first movie, he was A-OK -okay with rape. Here, he's only kind of okay with punching women at first. Only when they deserve it. Only when they deserve it. He's okay with womanizing, but he's not necessarily rape not, or, not full on yeah, rape. or hurting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the, the best thing about this movie is that uh, there's no rape, right? You're the one that's gonna be sorry. Let's get her! <laughs> there's some assault. A little assault. A little there's an attempt at rape. There's yeah. a pinch the of assault. To try to rape the princess. Yeah. 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 It's shot very, we actually, Likened it more to like a Three's Company, where it's like it's shot <laughs> yeah. 70s flat. It's yeah. it's yeah, it's just this yeah. flat, even lighting. Well, the, yeah. the, the big like like the big day and night like shocker was that that big uh, King Arthur's court scene, like yeah. where where in in Deathstalker one, it was it was like a horrible orgy. Yeah, and and this one, it was like the PG version of a triple X film. It was like a children's television yeah. show, and it was, was shockingly different. The only thing that looked moody was when they cut the footage from the original Deathstalker. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> they, this, this almost seemed like a rebuttal to Deathstalker 1. Because uh, part of the plot of the movie is Deathstalker having to answer for his crimes against women. Yeah. Your legend precedes you. Your exploits as a womanizer are well known in these parts. Well, I am more of a lover than a fighter. <laughs> I hope not. Huh? For some reason, they had a wrestling ring. Amazon's had a wrestling ring. It's, it's sure. anachronistic. It, uh, that's the thing. This whole movie is, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> this is, the, this is the, the lead actor saying, who cares? Wait. This is a shit movie. This whole thing is, Dust Stalker 1 made some money. Let's slap together a sequel. Sure. You have to uh, buy your clothes at a special store. <laughs> Although, that's fair though. You can't use fists when you're when you're when you're wrestling. Uh, Josh, you, you, one of the funnier moments during our screening was we. Uh, someone said this feels like a Mel Brooks film because they're like these are these are my hitmen and it's like we're guy it's like the guy, guy with the eye patch guy. yeah the, we get a so flat so. dolly shot flat one dolly, person uh, next tr character trucking shot left oh, to right yeah, yeah. Um, from this guy to this guy to this guy and then the last one is the comedy punch and you called it oh yeah yeah I've got just the butchers to do it. Say hello to Crazy Otto Rheingold, the mad Russian. <laughs> Wait, he's the mad Russian? The Mordian massacres that killed hundreds and left... Now this is a Mel Brooks movie. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. has a Mel Brooks feel to it. on the Genghis Khan strike force, part-time consultant to Attila the Hun. Next, John the Baptist Bombasso. Drownings... Like, like the next one would be wearing all pink and yeah. be flamboyant. Yeah. yeah, the last one has to be a joke. Yeah. <clears throat> Possibly a little person. And last but not least, the real fine... <laughs> Oh my god! Do a new one up for
You're the real seer. <laughs> <laughs> it almost felt like a flat out comedy. Yeah. The, 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 there were, that was it was very you... self-aware. The very beginning of the film, we watched it and it was so bad <laughs> that we thought they were gonna pull back to reveal a Hollywood set. Yeah. And that Death Soccer was just an actor. Like that scene in The, the Rocketeer. Drink of my lips as deeply. Cut, cut, cut. Back to first position. Yeah. Oh, when, yeah. when, so, oh, da, 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 and he's doing the swashbuckling, like yeah. Errol Flynn kind of thing. And they, they pull back to reveal that it's, it's just a scene being shot in the Hollywood film. But it's going to be some weird and, meta thing. Yeah, yeah, right. And then, so Death Soccer is just some Hollywood actor who gets transported into a, a fantasy land. <laughs> Oh, is this gonna be some kind of stage nogs? No, it this feels is the like movie. It feels like that. Yeah. The the sound like he's design an actor. for the yeah. sword hitting. Those look like like practice swords, like they're fake. Yeah. Uh, Rich, you might be right with your theory. Whoa! Oh, hey. This is a stage play? That, that it's part of a yeah. No, I think this is the movie. Wow. The realization set in that that is the actual movie. This is the that film. We're watching. We thought it was a recreation of a phony Hollywood production, but it was real. <laughs> oh my, a princess? Would that be drink of my lips? But we saw heavy influence from outside sources. What was popular in the oh, mid to late 80s, yes. the opening was a was a, uh, a Raiders opening mm -hmm. where he seals a jewel, so very self-aware. Um, we, we cut to uh, some Return of the Jedi being, being carried into the Ewok village. Surprises? Some oracle you turned out to be. Somehow I got the feeling that didn't help us very much. Uh, on the sticks and in the, the big net. I don't suppose you guys are hunters and I stepped into your bear trap. No, I didn't think so. Which, yeah. which may have actually been the exact same net <laughs> that, that they bought at a flea market. Yeah. yeah. Whiskey. So Deathstalker goes in the mausoleum and the door closes on Lady mm -hmm. and then he talks to Sorcerer yep. and Sorcerer says, ooh, I'm gonna use my magic and that makes zombies come out of the graves. I guess. And also makes the mausoleum walls close in with spikes. Yep, like I haven't a, seen that before. A very similar film, Goodfellas. <laughs> uh, that scene where Joe Pesci, oh, yeah. he crushes his mafia opponent, the wig maker. Yeah, the wig maker. Yeah. He puts him in that uh, thing, and then yeah. Yeah, yeah, just like. Told you I had a surprise. You get him, girls. Yeah. 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 Fuck him up. <laughs> what are you doing? Some dance. I'm having a dance dance time. I hear some music starting. I'm, I'm really feeling this movie. Explosions too? What? Why are they It's Zeus. It's Zeus. The well, there's a big you know? battle at the end. Oh. Let's talk briefly about the yes. big battle at the end. Yes. A lot of lightning. Yes. Oh yeah, Wait, that's man. never explained. Yeah. Where did the For lightning why? come from? We, we're, we were speculating that the Amazonians were, were asking Zeus to help them, mm -hmm. but they weren't. This is not overt at all. They weren't, yeah, but and they weren't technically Amazonians. They were right. just like female There's warriors. warrior women, yeah. Um, right, you just you just class them as Amazonians yeah. because that's what we're used to. My guess is that they had some pyrotechnics left over. <laughs> they were using them, and then later on in post production, they said, "This doesn't make any sense." Put some lightning bolts in there. Up? <laughs> um, because this is the movie where. The, the band of bounty hunters were firing explosive arrows yes. at Deathstalker and the lady on the horse. Yes. So things were blowing up. Yes. So we've established the production does have pyrotechnics and yeah. they, they had some left over. Yeah, yeah. And so they're like, 
Yeah. Well, I'll put them in there. Hey, put them in there. Oh, then, wait, wait, why are things blowing up? I don't know. We didn't, get it. we didn't get any shots of archers with the exploding arrows. Right. Damn it! Yeah. Uh, that was another bolder. thing. After lunch, they just forgot about it because this is this is a who cares movie. Yeah. Listen, uh, we, whatever. We already blew up a little person. <laughs> <laughs> what more do you want? Yeah. <laughs> Exploded. He just exploded? Yeah. I, th I think he <laughs> fell on his arrows. Yeah, but the exploding arrow went off. That's, that's hilarious. That's adorable. And uh, first off, uh, the princess has to kill her evil twin. And so there's a big Scooby Doo thing yeah. where she's like, boop, boop, doo, 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 and then she doo, just stabs doo. her. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That was it. All right. You know, I thought they were going to do the switcheroo at the end. Ah, oh, that's yeah. too clever. Oh. Not in this Deathstalker. Yeah. yeah. What, what was Jarek's goal? What was his main villain plot? Oh, he wanted to re retain control of the kingdom by making uh, uh, the evil princess stable and be able to kill the good princess. Oh, because there was like a okay. thing where like yeah, the, yeah. one of them had to, they both had to be alive. And he was like, I just need to make a couple so more. So he wanted his evil clone to... To m retain the throne. Yes, yeah, okay. and retain power. Okay. Yeah, right. it was like just a couple more little. Uh, Which he uh, did. Formula. He he came up with the formula so the clone could live yeah. without the host. That was when she stabbed the hipster. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. The whole hipster stabbing scene, if you remember, and the other the clone was still there, just like I guess I'm. She, sta she stabbed now? that hipster with a little mustache. Yeah. yeah. Right through his flannel. Right. And she hit she hit his LP. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> that he just carried inside of his shirt. Like, oh, I was just gonna make a pour over coffee. Uh, uh, yeah, right, right. right, I remember that very famous scene. I'm curious to see where they go with Dust Stalker Three. Do they go back to the serious uh, roots of the original film? Do they keep up with the who gives a fuck attitude of the second movie? Right, doesn't it get you excited? I hope we never find out. <laughs> we know we know the rules of Planketo. Once one Deathstalker is removed, now we gotta put Deathstalker three on there. Yeah, absolutely. What's important for the people watching this at home? It's been about an hour <laughs> since we've talked about <laughs> Deathstalker 2. We talked about all sorts of stuff. We, we, we've had great conversations yeah. and had just a good time. We were trying really hard as to a group of people. Ourselves. And now we got to talk about Princess Warrior. So, Mike, <laughs> Ouch. if you could, mm. what is the general plot of Princess Warrior? Please. Well, it's a film that revolves around a low speed car chase <laughs> and a wet t shirt contest. With with maybe five minutes of padding on either end. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. That's, yeah. that's All right. it. All Thank right. You much. Good night, everybody. Thanks, Thank for, for, thanks watching. for watching the show. Yeah. So, what do you think is best of the worst? Oh. Uh, Princess Warrior. Okay, so it starts off with the with the cheap matte painting of what looks like and cheap. You mean charming? Charming. There, it looks like they're on a moon. It looks like a moon base. It does. It's like a leftover <laughs> sci-fi art. Like they look like Greek gods. They're dressed in that kind of garb. Sure. White. The good people. Yes. The good yeah. people are. Yeah. yeah. The good people. The so, bad people are dressed in all black and leather and shit. And it's well, that's the bad. The bad daughter. There's a there's a queen who's laying on a sci-fi. Deathbed. Yeah, yeah. They have one marble column and a glowing like like spa bed. It's we got it's got fluorescent tubes in it. It's glowing. That are picking up on the mic. <laughs> Do not count on anything yet, my daughter. I still breathe. Come to me. This is the weird audio cut. Yeah. There's like a cricket in the it studio. Is time. It's, a, it's on her audio, audio only. <laughs> it's like when her track comes in. My time is at an end. <laughs> <laughs>
A fuel. You know what? It's Nipulon. the fucking table. It's the lightest. Nipulon. No, that could be. Yeah. Every time she talks. Every time it cuts to her. The queen has a tattoo or a birthmark of it's when she wants to psychically connect with her two daughters, it glows. The two daughters show up. One is is a blonde woman in a white dress, and she's the good daughter. The other one is is a brunette in a black dress, and she's the whore. <laughs> but I was born first. Yes, you were. But you are not of me. You cannot be. You are a whore. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. According to the is, mother. Yeah. Oh, that's right. She actually says that. Yeah, not even exaggerating. She's just like, you, you're good. You, fucking whore. You're, <laughs> you're a fucking whore. And, and remember, the evil daughter dressed in all black. I mean, the symbolism is rich. Uh, <laughs> the evil daughter comes to her mother from her disappointing male concubine. Oh, yeah, in Prince's basement. I hope you're all satisfied. I'm not. Feeble attempt to please me that I've ever experienced in my life. And, and yeah, she says, and shit. you right. two boys didn't fuck me good. They didn't, they didn't fuck good enough. Yeah. Not only was she called a whore, we know she's And a really, whore. this is a film about family. Family. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so mother dying, and then we are introduced to a technology of a pneumatic tube <laughs> that will transport you to Earth, specifically I, to a sleazy bar that's having a wet t-shirt contest via pneumatic tube. Sure. And conveniently, you yeah. have to be naked you in the tube. You have to be naked to get in the tube. It's like the Terminator. Yes. That's a comical moment, and yeah. our lead actress, she was a little, uh, you know, she was, she was iffy about nudity, so she's covering herself. Yeah. But then we cut to the, all the, the bad women in the teleporter. And it was it's like, just, check them out. It's like, it just, Cut to, and they're all just standing there. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I don't have a shirt on. Yeah. What? You're going to send us after my bitch sister, and then bring us back safely when the time is right. The uh, unsexiest nudity you'll yeah. ever see is just like, eh. Yeah. It's like it's like they're going into a doctor's office yeah. to, to get a, a clinical. Mammogram. It yeah. really yeah. is clinical. Yeah. There is the tube. <laughs> And this is all in the first five minutes of the movie. Yeah, yeah. When things are exciting. The princess yeah, yeah. is going to escape. I think she's escaping from the sister who's the, trying yes. to kill her. The, right? the, they have a lightsaber fight. The important story point mm. is the little sister who's good is promoted to queen. Yes. Yeah, instead yeah. of instead the of older sister the, who is yes. bad. Which yes. leads to a lightsaber fight. Yes. No! <laughs> wow. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh my god. <coughs> oh, 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 no, take that oh no, it's like a Star Wars fan oh. film. Oh. Oh. This is great. This is, this is, this is something else. A lightsaber fight in which uh, we could see the edge of the frame and they had a colored layer behind the frame, the color of the lightsaber, and we saw in shots of the movie that the lightsaber, that there was a couple shots where they forgot the, the chroma green, key it yeah. out. And so we could see it was a green thing. So they chroma keyed out the lightsaber, but we could see the edge of the frame, the color underneath that yeah. layer, yeah. which maybe won't make any sense to anyone that doesn't edit. It was it was like a pixel worth. Yeah. It, it was it was bleed over from the VHS yeah. you know, right. burn. Something you, know. you would not see if you watched this on an old An old tube four by three. Yes. yes. Which uh, yes. which enlarged the image naturally. Yeah. And in the, in this in this shot they had a TV screen. Right, very yeah. tiny in the back and, of the frame, they and they legit were definitely like, sh like there are cameras in the scene yeah. going around the yeah. girls, and and they wanted to establish that the things they were shooting were on the TV because yeah. that's important to the right. story. Yeah. Later, it comes up later with right. the detectives, but but they had a hundred percent of the screen, ten percent was was keyed out was on little... the TV, and so we're like, what is happening up there? It's like nonsense. Oh, you know what it is? It's the full frame. Yeah, but they oh, didn't know how to shrink it. They down. didn't shrink yeah. it. Oh. Totally right. That's awful. They could key it behind, Fuck. but not they couldn't adjust shrink it. it. Yeah. Listen, okay, you video nerds can talk about this all day long, but the point is she gets transported to Earth where there's a wet t-shirt contest happening. <laughs> oh, wait, there's a wet t-shirt contest. Go ahead. Yeah, she goes, she's uh, transported. Wait, there was a wet t-shirt contest in yeah. this movie? Yeah, I don't know if How you noticed I... it, but it happened for 25 minutes. I think I, I think I must have stepped out of the room for a minute and I missed it. It's 
it's it's a wet it's honestly it's a wet sweatshirt contest. It's, yeah, because oh, the shirt is go. so thick, it never really gets so wet that it's transparent. It really doesn't. Which is the point of a wet t-shirt contest. It it gets slightly wet. And this yeah. this is uh, they uh, fucked that up. Yeah, this is this this uh, is a signifier of the ineptitude of the prop department of this film. The prop department, coincidentally, is also the director and the editor and the writer of the film. Uh, sure, it's all the same guy. He picked up a bunch of cheap sweatshirts at Walmart, and he didn't realize. He, and he they're... got the letters on. It was like better win wet. Yeah, and he just ironed them on himself the day before the shoot. I like to picture that, like him in his his shitty apartment, just like. Because we see way, his apartment in the movie, he's yeah. got a he's got a, a sleeper sofa, the sofa bed. Yeah, he doesn't have a bed. The director of this film. That's definitely um, his apartment. Or what his, his mother helped luck. him? Yes. What luck his you mother helped him? There. Oh, that makes it so much sadder to think that the director's mother helped him iron on oh. the, the the letters for his wet help, T-shirt contest. Is this going to help you meet a girl? <laughs> <laughs> Point being, we have this good twenty-five minute uh, wet T-shirt scene before the princess even gets there. Say a, a disgusting and embarrassing wet t shirt scene. <laughs> In this fucking 20 minute chunk that happens, the important things are there's a DJ at the bar. There's a woman that shows up in a pneumatic tube. She's from space. There are a couple of stunads that run the bar. All the rest of it is just filler. Yeah. Yes. But what the? What? Oh, he ran into a brick wall. Hey. Why did that happen? Yeah, fine, keep your records. They all suck anyway. Yo, hey, baby, crank that stereo. It's dancing titty time. <laughs> what? 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 Inexplicably, the princess who shows up in the full, like, like all the way down, the the way down to the ankles t-shirt yeah. that doesn't get wet immediately wins. Wins the contest. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yo, yo, hello. No, oh, why? Why are you? I, I don't want to be wet. <laughs> is that is that the director? Probably. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna spray it down, honey. Oh, yeah. Where's that guy now? Yeah. 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 Let me get him all wet. Oh. Yeah. 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 But then the dude tried to grope her, and she kicked him in the nuts. The the evil evil sister and her two henchmen. Yes, her sister the, and her and her friends. Yeah, are in the back of of a shitty hoopty. <laughs> driven, no, a it's car. a cop car, Mike. It's a cop yeah. car. Dri cop car. Driven by Dale Jackson and and uh, uh, Ford Fairlane. <laughs> and they, they, they show up two or three times in front of the parts store. Yeah. To arrest yeah. Michael Keaton and the princess. Yeah. yeah, they they got a permit to film on that corner, <laughs> and they're gonna use it. <laughs> God damn it! They're gonna use it between 1 a.m. and 6 a.m. Yeah, that's right. They're gonna oh, film Christmas Day in L.A. 50 percent of their movie on this one corner. I, I don't think it can be stressed hard enough that the main antagonist of this movie is in the back of a cop car for 80 percent of the movie. Yeah. Not, Not even saying anything. No. Just there. Yeah. She's just chilling until like, eventually in at the end of the slow car chase, the cops just plow into a pile of stones. And fall asleep. Yes. <laughs> and she's the one who wakes up first, lucky her. Yeah. Joe, uh, Joe Piscopo, Joe Piscopo yeah. quits his job to okay. hang out with the alien girl, but he's pretty sure that she's just crazy. Yeah. And then they go to his apartment. God, I love this job. <laughs> All right, drop it, oh. or I'll waste him. Blow it away, man, I'm toasty the way. How does this thing work? <laughs> well, that's how. What? Mm. She flew through a window. Shit! Bill. <laughs> Why are you shooting at people? What window did they jump through? They didn't. That's a great question! <laughs> da, da, where did that da, window da. come from and was, where did it go? It was built on a set somewhere else. <laughs> but but he goes, he goes, oh, you're a crazy person. You belong in a crazy like, house with no. all these other crazy people. But then. Oh, then. Her crotch Bing. glows. Her tattoo glows. And he, oh, never mind. You're, you're an alien. Yeah. No, no, no. Jay, 
There's two frames where the where her tattoo glows. Yeah. And then it cuts to them on a motorcycle and they drive away. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. We don't even get that moment where he looks down and goes, wait a minute. Maybe no, you're telling he's got the it. truth. Maybe that whole crazy story. He just true. immediately understands, just, like, oh shit. Yes. Bye. Yeah, you can tell us all that when we get down to the station. Hey, man, check, check this shit out. Come here. How is this? Uh, what the hell's going on? How the? How are you doing that? Now, do you believe me? Oh, man. oh, oh! No, the they tattoos have... are glowing. Oh, so now he believes Wait. her? What? What just happened? Uh, oh God! Her tattoo it? glew, and so he believed her like that? Like that? That happened in one second. And then, and then the next seventy minutes of the movie is them running away from the cops. And then the cops somehow run it's into this. It's just like the Terminator. It is. Except less sexy. Yeah. You could do a side by side comparison of the video. Yeah. I, I mentioned it, that during the screening. Yeah. It was very Terminator esque. It's similar. It eventually leads to the warehouse fight between the two sisters. No. Oh. So we finally decided to show yourself. I have had it with you. And what do you intend to do about it? Kick your ass to you scream for mercy, then kick it some more. They talk like that on your planet? Where they're just beating the shit out of each other, and then Joe Piscopo uh, wanders up in another, like, 8mm film. <laughs> <laughs> and the cops He wanders are in from around. the set of a 90s music video. He does! Yeah. There's this whole side thing outside of the warehouse. Like, there's the inside of the warehouse shots. Yeah. And all the outside of the warehouse shots with the two hench women. Yeah. The, the other cops. Other, other cops, cops show, oh, yeah, up, other cops show, show up. up. That seems like it's shot they on finally a different call... camera. It's shot it at looks, a different time. It looks 8 millimeter. It yeah. looks shitty. Yes. Like, shittier than... Shockingly this, There's shitty. no way this is 35. It had to be 16. But down from that... I would actually uh, appreciate this film more if it were just the setup to an orgy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! It just murdered <laughs> women. Yeah. Yay! Oh well. Oh, okay. They just murdered them. Yeah. And then the queen's like, hey! Joe Piscopo, oh. take off all your clothes, let's go to my planet. Well, it, the weirdest thing is like they didn't frame the shot properly where yeah. it's like she takes off her clothes, but you know, she's clearly wearing something to cover her nipples because she was embarrassed to be a part of this production. Sure. Um, but they framed it in a way where it was visible, so they just blurred it out. It was so weird. All I can say is I 100% Agree with this actress. I'm glad she <laughs> yes, didn't expose herself. Sure. Agree. Bless. For Absolutely. Princess Warrior. Not worth it. Is she conscious? Can she hear us? She's been coming in and out for the past few hours. She looks pretty much like a vegetable. She can only be resuscitated with lesbian sex. <laughs> uh, what is this? Lesbian sex. And then just 90 minutes of scissoring. <laughs> <laughs> Although, although, honestly, like, this is probably porn to somebody. There's somebody out there that has oh. a fetish for people sitting in the backseat of a car. Sure. Sure. Wait, no, that was that one. Low-speed motorcycle chases. Yeah. yeah, there's somebody that has a fetish for uh, heating up spoons, you know? Oh. So. Someone has this a This is real, a porn to real, somebody is yeah. what I'm saying. Fetish for, for pneumatic tubes. Yeah, or, yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's sexy. Ooh, Mike, you just you just gained a couple subscribers. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so on what has been the low point for best of the worst. I'm gonna say I, this I, was this was the most confusing. So so Mike. Oh god. You just because you're closest to me. Yeah, I've been thinking about it. What's the best of the worst, man? I know you're gonna ask me that question, and... <laughs> I mean, that's the show, so... Because it lacked the frustration of the first first one and the last one. I, I think I have to go with Deathstalker 2. I like the, the cavalier attitude of the, the, the actors. Ah, fuck it! And the, and the director and yep. the writer and everything about it. Yeah. This, I, it's challenging, like, to discover what 
what their motive was, and same with this. Yeah. And so it's a really tough decision because Nailgun Massacre had some fun stuff in it, and this had some fun stuff in it, but I think overwhelmingly, now that I think about it, really hard. If As I you were, should. If I were to pick a best of the worst, it has to be Deathstalker 2. Yeah, it's a hard fought battle, but the movie- This doesn't seem hard to me. The, the thing that, and you're probably gonna agree with me in the long run, but like, the one that acted most like a movie that I could watch from beginning to end was Death Stalker 2. But Death Stalker 2 had all those things you look for in a, what we call film. <laughs> <laughs> it's a movie. Yeah. These these two, I'm not really sure. Yeah. I don't know what they are. I'm yeah. not really sure what they are. They're like I feel like a doctor looking at a lump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I gotta send this off to the lab. Yeah. <laughs> All right, That's T. Rich else. Evans. That's <laughs> uh, Jane. Uh, Death Stalker too. <laughs> it was legitimately entertaining. It was fun. I enjoyed watching it. Right. Well, so like Death Stalker two for me, is winner by default. It would not win any other night of the I don't know. I, I, would, I would legitimately watch Death Sucker 2. I agree it wins the night, but it's just that side of like, we're also in it's, on the joke. It's riding the line. Uh, I would love um, to offer up to the table a destruction of Princess Warrior. Yes, please. Yes. And I feel like it needs a actual destruction That's for right. people to see because there was so much nothing. It wasted our time. Let's take Princess Warrior and destroy the fuck out of it. Well, we've decided to murder Princess Warrior using weapons from the other films we watched. I've got a nail gun, and it's hooked up to a compressor that is way too large for this size nail gun for maximum violence. Here we go. Jay, what did they fight for? They fought for a kingdom. Not anymore. Wait, what do you want to do, Jay? I, I want to shoot one from a distance. I've never done that with a nail gun. Okay. And I have no idea about the safety of it. Okay, let me set my shot up. Okay. Now, swords were featured prominently in Deathstalker 2, and I happen to have a sword right here. It's not the right kind of sword, but it'll do.